Hi everyone, it's Jeannie at Makers Unify and today I'm going to show you how you can DIY your own home decor. I picked up a couple of used books at the Salvation Army and right now I'm putting a uh, gesso on, gesso, gesso, which is a white. This is by Art Alternatives and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of coats of this on and uh, blow dry it and then I'm going to go over that with the uh, folk art wicker white matte paint uh, just so that I can make sure that this is covered pretty well. You could also try to spray paint it. I'm not sure if that would crack or not um, but I did get a pretty good coverage using the, the gesso and then just the, um, the white paint. So here I am using the IOD decor stamp called Le Courier. Uh, there's a whole packet of different types of uh, French typed typing, I guess you would call it, typesets. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and ink this up and put a portion of it on the book. And then this one is another st um, stamp from the same um, IOD decor stamp Le Courier. Now I'm going to prep my mold with um, some cornstarch. This is the IOD mold, um, which one is it? Trimmings. It's the Trimmings 2 mold. And what I'm doing is going to uh, get a piece here that I want to use. I don't want to use the whole strip. I'm just going to take part of this uh, piece here to put on the top of the book. And I use a tight bond glue to glue all of my uh, clay pieces on this book. And I'm uh, just going to make sure that it's all spread out pretty good with a paintbrush. And go ahead and glue it on. And you're going to let that dry because you want the glue to dry and you also want to let the uh, stamp to dry, or the, I'm sorry, the mold, the clay mold to dry itself. Uh, so here, um, again, I'm using the IOD Trimmings 2 mold. And this is going to be for the binding. I'm going to use the whole strip on this one, put some tight bond glue on it, and go ahead and glue it to the, uh, to the binding. So here again I want to take another piece of the trimmings and I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm trying to kind of um, carve it, carve around the decorative parts so that it's just not uh, so straight. So I'm going to go ahead and again use the tight bond and figure out where I want to place that and go ahead and glue it on the book. For the second book, I use the IOD lock and key mold, and I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, on the binding of the book, again with the tight bond glue. I just picked up this IUD mold called He Loves Me from Sweet and Sassy uh, Treasures in Shelby Township. And I'm going to go ahead and just use a portion of this on the top. Again, using my tight bond glue to go ahead and glue it on. And again, you're going to want to use um, cornstarch before you put your clay in the mold so that it releases easier.
Again, I'm going to take another stamp from the uh, Le Courier uh, stamp set and stamp that on this part of the book. And then there's another circle one that I'm going to put on another part of the book. So the fun thing is, is that you can just play around with this and uh, do what you want, do what inspires you. You can uh, look on Pinterest for ideas. You can take my ideas if you like them. Um, so there's, there's a lot of different ways that you can decorate these. And here I'm just taking the Folk Art Wicker White in matte and I'm going to cover up the um, the clay molds. And this is after they have dried for a day. You do want to make sure that they're dried, that they're glued on there securely. And um, again, this is the whole thing I'm going to go over with the Folk Art Winter White. And to speed up the process, I'm going to go and pull out my handy dandy dryer and dry the paint. So right now I'm going over the um, clay pieces with the Waverly chalk paint in mineral color and I'm going to put this on and uh, try and wipe it, some of it off. I'm, I'm trying to make it look like an antique color. Um, what I end up doing is kind of putting some in a bowl and watering it down a bit so that it's not so, it's not so dark. Um, so right here I'm still painting it on and trying to wipe it off, um, but I do come back with a little spray bottle of water that I have to try and pull some of that off. I want it to look more of an antique kind of old um, kind of color or stain, I guess you would say. So like I said here, I'm going to put some in a little little dish and spray it down a little bit to water it a bit so it's not so heavy and dark on the book. So here I'm repeating the same process on the second book, just going on with the uh, Waverly chalk paint in mineral color and it's watered down, like I said, and I'm going to go and put some on and dab it off and give it the antique look. So again, this one has the lock and key mold that's on the binding and it would be really cute. I've seen this on Pinterest where you can get an old skeleton key and you can kind of uh, put some twine on it and wrap it around the book or you can kind of use it as a, um, as a bookmark and put it inside the center of the book, of the string, and just let it hang out. Now this one, unfortunately, I didn't have the... Um, the original lantern to show you but I got it uh, it's, it was all black and I got it at Michael's with with their uh, Christmas sale it was like 80% off and it was just plain so I went through and I actually did paint it with the Waverly uh, or I'm sorry with the folk art wicker white matte paint but I, it was just I didn't like how 
the finish was it didn't look very good so I ended up taping all the glass off and I took it outside and I just spray painted it all white so here I am just cleaning it up and getting the the tape off and any little bits and pieces that I found inside so here I am using the um, what is this one this is the IOD mold frames 2 and I just want to use the top portion of the mold as you can see I'm going to put on the top of uh, there's four parts or four four sides I guess you would say to the top so I'm just going to go ahead and use the tight bond on this and glue it on top This mold that I have here is by Redesigns, and I'm not quite sure what the name of this mold is, um, but there's these small leaves that are on it that I really like, so I'm going to go ahead and um, create a bunch of those and glue them on. And again, I'm going to go ahead and paint the um, clay pieces after they have dried overnight. I'm going to go ahead and paint them with the Folk Art Wicker White Matte. So again, I'm going to use the um, Waverly Chalk Paint in Mineral, and I'm going to paint it on and wipe it off. And then for the rest of the piece, I'm going to do the same thing. Just paint it on and uh, go ahead and wipe it off to give it that antique look. So here they are, the lantern that was turned from blah to voila. I think it turned out really great and there are so many possibilities of up upcycling or you know dressing up ugly old lanterns and the detail on it is beautiful. I love how it turned out. I love the antiquing look, antique look. Um, and then the, the candle is a, of course, a fake candle, which are nice. I bought those on Amazon. You can put them on a timer so that they'll stay on for like eight hours and then they'll come back on the next day for the same amount of time. It's pretty cool. And here are the books. So this makes a really unique, some really unique home decor. And I want to thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and like and comment and have a DIY day.